Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today I wanted to bring up a little quick tip that I learned recently um, regarding Blender and the Cycles Render Engine. So uh, to do this, first we're just going to click this, and then we're going to click on the Cycles Render, and it's just going to pop us into the uh, Cycles Render Engine. Um, so there's a pretty cool add-on called Import Image as Plane, and I'll go and I'll show you that there. So if you go up to File, User Preferences, and then in our add-ons here, in our add-ons tab, um, there's, just search for image, uh, this pretty cool plugin uh, called Import Images as Plane, and that comes built into Blender. To enable it, all you need to do is hit this little checkbox, and then to save that for each uh, time you start up Blender, just click this. So there's one slight thing that's uh, kind of annoying when uh, you're trying to import an image with transparency. Um, as I recently discovered, the Cycles Render Engine kind of doesn't like that. Um, so I'm just going to build up a little test scene. So let's just delete this cube by hitting X. Right click on this lamp up here, hit X, and then click left click delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to import um, an image with transparency. So I'm going to go file, import, and then images as planes. Okay, so I found my image. It's this little one right here. Um, so you're going to see there's actually quite a few things over in this left area. Um, to, to give this a to give you a brief rundown, I navigated uh, to this uh, by going through uh, the file system, and up here is the file name, and then this is the file path that gets generated. Um, so over here, with uh, the alpha, you have to click that. And this is like 2.75 and later is where it becomes very relevant. I know I'm running 2.74 up here, but whatever. You still need to check that for alpha. And then down here, you're going to see that there's actually quite a few other options. So um, typically, all you need to do is just hit the diffuse and transparent, but um, now you need to hit that as well. So you can also make it emit, and that uh, produces a pretty cool effect. So I'm going to just click diffuse and transparent for now, and then I'll show you uh, emission and transparent in a moment. Um, and you don't really need to worry about this too much. Um, and then we can just go up to the upper right and click import images as planes. And you're going to be orbiting around with the middle mouse button. You're going to say, well, there doesn't appear to be anything on that. Well, that's because we are not in a texture view or material. So if we just pop over to material, you can see there's that little button. So now let's pop over to rendered and let's see what those corners look like. Perfect. You can see those corners are uh, not black and uh, which would indicate that it's not transparent there. Um, and now that's actually pretty good. And uh, by the way, this is the live render view. Um, so you can see what you're doing uh, in Cycles or in the Blender engine. So uh, let's pop back to Material for a moment. Uh, and I'll zoom out. So for now, I'm just going to delete this by hitting X and then left clicking Delete. Now I'm going to pull in another one. So if we just go to Import Images as Planes, select this, and click on Emission and Transparent, and then we click Import. And you're going to see there's not much difference from the previous one. It's still got this uh, sort of transparent corners there. And if we pop over to Rendered, you're going to see that it's very bright. And there doesn't appear to be like any diffuse effects. Well, that's because we imported it as um, emission, which uh, allows uh, a couple differences in the material, where basically, it, if it sees the camera in its light path, um, it will 
give the color of the texture. Um, which is very nice and handy if uh, you didn't want to have it be slightly blurry or have to worry about lighting it. So, um, I hope this was useful, and I hope that uh, you won't catch this uh, mistake or slight overlook um, and despair because there is a solution. Okay, hope this helped. Bye. Thank <music> you.